Google owns the internet and it's becoming more and more difficult to run SEO campaigns as Google ads are creeping in further and further down that page. You've got your shopping campaigns, then you have your search based campaigns, and then you have your my business listing, and then you have your SEO. So in this video, we're going to do exactly what Google wants us to do and set up a performance max advertising campaign. So what is performance max? Performance Max is a new campaign setup structure that Google Ads has incorporated into its platform that will eventually override the Google Smart Shopping campaigns. It allows advertisers to access all of their Google Ads inventory under one roof. So now that you know what it's all about, let's get our hands dirty and create a campaign. Okay, so here we are in our Google Ads dashboard. And what we need to do is we need to click this blue button here and create a new campaign. So slow. Okay, so now you choose your objective. If you're running an e-commerce store, the most important thing to choose here is the sales. And then make sure that you have the purchases and this other one, you don't really need this, so you can remove that if you don't want it. But most important thing is purchases. If you do want to import your goals from Google Analytics, let me know. I will show you how to do that. But with the integrated purchases conversion in Google Ads, there is no need for that. So click continue. Okay, now as you can see here, Performance Max is what we're after. This is what Google seems to want right now. So we're going to do what Google wants and select that. Choose your account and then choose your campaign name. So basically that's exactly what I want to do. I don't really need to say one, but it's Performance Max campaign. So let's go with that. Okay, now this is where you choose your budget. I like to suggest using $50 as a minimum budget for an e-commerce store. That way, Performance Max or Smart Shopping can really find enough data with your ad spend to really crunch that together and, and give you the best performance. So generally, it takes a while before they actually uh, give you good results, these Smart and Performance Max campaigns. But stick with it. They generally take about two weeks, I'd say, before you start to see results. Uh, but if you have a higher budget, then Google's obviously got more ad spend to work with and pr provides more data. So with this account, I actually only have about 100 products that I really want to push. So I have that set up in my merchant center, which is connected to my Google ads. And I'm going to go with $20 a day. But if you have a bigger store or you, have, you want to get more data faster, then I would suggest, yeah, $50, $50 as a minimum. Choosing conversions, not conversion value, because we want to make sure that we are telling Google that this is our actual profit, not our revenue. So if you choose conversion value, that's the revenue. And if you're choosing conversion, that is basically your profit. So I always go with profit. That's the way I report to my clients and we'll choose next. Now, if you want to do it worldwide, choose all countries and territories. I would suggest using enter another location. It has picked up that this is an Australian account, but I would put in Australia here. This way it is definitive. It's definitely going to Australia. And then click this advanced, <coughs> excuse me, advanced search. You can see that it's only choosing Australia, not New Zealand not Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, or locating, it is Australia, okay? So let's get out of here. Okay, now English is the primary language here and more settings. Now, what you can do here is you can set up an ad schedule. I would suggest this, doing the ad schedule if you have enough data on when your customer is coming through to your website when most of the purchases are coming. Generally, your Shopify store will give you that data in the analytics section. But um, to start off with, I think the most important thing is to get data because there might be something that you're not aware of. People might be 
purchasing items at 12 in the middle of the night. Um, I have a music store that people are predominantly buying at about 10 p.m. And that seems to be exactly what's working for that shop. So everything is relevant to the product that you're selling. So I would keep this as all day to start with, and then you can refine that later with the data that you get from the campaign. Okay, click next. Now, as you can see, this is a little bit different to previous setups, this asset group. Now we'll just leave it as asset group number one. And then here is your final URL that you want it to go to. At the moment, I have it set to all products, but you can use selection of products right here. So if you did want to push something a little bit more, uh, or you just wanted to advertise one category, then I'd suggest using this. So select products by category. And then right here, you have arts and entertainment, clothing, accessories, home and garden. So this is the biggest one for us. So that's what I really want to push. But I'm not going to do that here based on what I said about that. The days of the week to advertise and the times. You can also select a brand or a condition or product type here. So if you did select brand, it will bring up a few brands that you sell on the website. All of the stuff on this website in particular is custom made. So that is not going to be effective in this campaign. But if you were selling sports shoes or whatever, and you wanted to only sell Nike ones online, then right here, the brand one would pop up and it would just have the Nike or Adidas or whatever it may be. So for me, I'm using all products because I want to find what works the most. And I believe that Google smart shopping is smart enough to find and push the item that people are searching for and getting in front of those customers that are looking for that, that item. So as you can see here, this is the main URL that we want it to go to, and it's across all of Google's products. So as I said at the start of the video, Google owns the internet. You can see what it owns right here and where your ads will be placed. Now in this section, you can fill this out yourself. It's pretty straightforward. You can add up to 20 images, but in this case, I will click this and I will select some images that we have on our site. Another option you may want to use is scanning the website. So yes, I'll use this one and then you can, yep. So it depends if you want that one selected. I don't want that one selected because it doesn't fit within the guidelines. But selecting those two ratios, that will be now added to the campaign. You can see that there's popular items that we have on the site that will be picked up. So I'm choosing this ratio only. Let's see if that fits. That's not too bad. So I'm going to go with those two ratios. And then there's all these other items that you can start to select. No, that does not fit. This one fits. And that's close enough. So just making sure that I tick all the boxes, there's no chance that anything's going to fit into that last one that I have on the site. So I'm just adding those. And right here, I'm just going to add this one, these two. Okay, and then you can also upload. Um, and then you've also got, so 13 assets are selected. So these will go into that campaign. Then you have your logo section. I did put the logo into the other one, but this is the logo that we will be using. And you can also scan your website. Once again, you can also scan Facebook and Instagram, which is a pretty cool new feature. Let's scan those, see what it comes up with. Tends to be taking a little bit too long. Let's go back to here and I'll make sure that I have the other ratio selected. I'm just going to pull that into there just to make sure that we cover a few different places online because they all use different ratios, whether it's Gmail, Google ads, or YouTube. Okay. I'm going to save this. Now we have one logo. You can select up to five, but there's two different ratios there. One is cropped, but that's, that's cool. Video. I don't add video 
in this uh, campaign because we don't have any. You can create your own video really fast. You can use Canva or something like that to just whip up a quick video with some of your products. But in this case, I don't think that it's going to be effective and I feel that they will be pushing that on YouTube. And I also feel that YouTube is probably not the best place um, to be selling these items. I could be wrong, but I'm just going to go ahead. What I'll do here is I'll fill out these headlines. Um, sometimes they are pre-populated like this. This is the company name. So what I would suggest is you use the company name, of course, put a dash there and then say, I know something, a catch line or something like that, that is relatable to your uh, website. So I use, it doesn't even fit. So let's just go with the suggestions that they have. These headlines aren't particularly important because as you can see here, this is the Google shopping. It's only important for those really dodgy websites that you're on and the text comes up as well, or it just shows the text. Um, but let's just go ahead and finish these headlines. It's exactly what we sell, custom gifts and products. Let's try another one. Handmade, personalized, connect with us. They're all pretty cool. Yeah, I've already had that one. Connect with us. Let's just do that. That's sort of suggesting. Long headline, let's see what they come up with. Doesn't look like they're coming up with anything for me. So what I like to do is get this and paste it in there. Just do two different kind of items and then paste that in there. As you can see there, it's a bit of a description about what the company is all about. And then this time I will do it the other way around. Gifts and items. Okay, two is enough. And then, oh, generally I like to do a, a call to action like shop now. Sometimes Google doesn't like the exclamation mark. So just be careful with that. I'm actually going to remove that because I feel that the full stop. And then there's more descriptions here. Um, so you can see what we're selling online here. And then this is the example of where we're at. So that's what I was saying about the, the dodgy ads. Yeah, these type of dodgy ads that are on um, websites that you probably shouldn't be on. Uh, they pop up all over the place. Those spammy blog articles that you click on, they'll be on those um, websites. So let's just choose this one because that's what they do. Let's choose another description. Yes, that's perfect. I'm just going to add a whole bunch of these because it's picking this up from the website and it's exactly what they do. So what it's going to do is going to figure out the keywords that are in this description and it will push that towards the people that are searching for those things in particular. There we go. That's pretty cool. Baby name parks. Cool. You can add more, I think. No, five. Normally you can add more, but I think that's enough data for Google to, to crunch. So call to action, automated. I think automated is fine in this case. You can do, you know, apply now, shop now, yeah, like shop now types of calls to actions. I believe that Google will auto generate the one that's most relevant. You can do shop now if you really just want to push sales. However, sometimes people just might browse and then become a subscriber on your newsletter or even just come through to an ad that's not so um i don't like to use the word spammy but sometimes when you push shop now in front of people's faces then um they might not click on it because they just think that you're just trying to sell to them so business names where you put in your business name There's some more options here, which you can do. You can add some paths. So then it tracks a little bit better within um, Google Analytics. And in this case, I don't really need to do this because I have another uh, reporting software set up that will give me these type of uh, conversions and how they happen. The path, basically it gives you a path of how people find 
and purchase your item so you get a better understanding of what's happening with the in the ads but i as i mentioned i've got a software that takes care of all of that stuff okay so here create an audience signal now we do have audiences already set up and i would suggest creating some audiences as you get more and more data but in this case i'm going to leave it to google smart shopping or performance max because in the past i've ran these smart campaigns and it actually found things that i didn't even know would start to sell online so keeping it as broad as possible yes it takes a little bit longer to start to get results but if you just have patience or if you can see that data working and those keywords working it will basically double down on that and then you'll start selling even more of those things that you didn't even know that you could sell on your site so let's go next these are site link extensions i add them all i created these uh, and you can create more ones here and then you attach them to the campaign level now i'm assuming these father's day mother's day gifts personalized gifts will be pushed towards the father's day campaigns that are up and coming and the search terms when people search father's day gifts or personalized father's day gifts which i know people are searching for it might be smart enough to find these and really push these site links towards that person and then you can add call extensions and things like that i don't want to do that because i don't want the client to be called and then yeah you can add all of these extra extensions i'd only suggest doing that if you really did want to acquire their emails addresses things like that but if you're running a, a google uh, sorry a shopify store there is no chance you want those things first and foremost what you would like is obviously the people coming through to the site and taking an action on your website not just filling out a form on google so let's go next okay so here we have it this is a review of everything i'm confident that i have everything set up properly it's saying that there's no signal provided as i mentioned before i like to keep it really broad to start with it's basically it's called a shotgun approach shoot a shotgun spits out all over the place can go here there and everywhere and you basically take the pellet that wins is the best way i can describe it publish this campaign okay now they're under review now we have all of our reviews set up for shopping and make sure that you have your four reviews uh, you actually need four policies to be set up now and make sure that they align with good google merchant centers uh, policies and once you have all of that set up this shouldn't be an issue it says one to two days i find that it normally starts within three or four hours um, unless there are black you know black flags there's black flags or red flags if there's red flags <laughs> If there's red flags, then Google obviously let you know um, within one to two days. They have been very slow lately, but if there's no issues, we've been running ads under this account for a long time, so there shouldn't be any issues. It'll be about three or four hours. Okay, so we're basically done. We'll start to see all of this data soon. This is the diagnostics of what's happening. Everything's active, conversion tracking, and one thing i do want to make sure that is clear is that with your conversions if you do have google analytics 4 set up and you do have your conversions synced into google ads from google analytics i believe that google ads performance max and smart shopping campaigns are more effective I think that that data that they're getting from Google Analytics as to what type of actions people are taking on your site, those really effective ones, the ones that you really want to work, which are add to cart, uh, basically filling in the credit card information and things like that. Google will pick up on that and I believe that it will help your campaign significantly. So happy to, uh, to do a video on that if you would like uh, any help with that please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers.